You mean the tiny crystal on the ground? You have to find it. So, perception of 25. So this is a really tiny crystal that you could just kind of discard it like it was on the thing, and plus there was a lot of gunfire. Okay, so you look around a bit, and you do find the tiny crystal. You do see that the Legionnaire inside is alive, in fact. that that Remember, that crystal, that magic only imprisons them in a tiny crystal. He's very much alive. I'll, I'll put it in my pocket. Okay, so this is just, yeah... Okay, so you're just taking along everything, right? So, um, despite yep. their, despite his protest, he's gonna start like taking along. They're they're taking back the unconscious. Are they unconscious or are they dead? They're stunned. They're stunned, they're stunned like permanently. They can't be yeah. unstunned unless you use a. <clears throat> is it considered a curse? Like the power is what is the power word considered? Um, stunned. Oh, curse. Hold on. Power word is considered... Hold on, let me go double check that first. So, it's considered a con save, so eventually they can unstun themselves. But by then we would have taken them out of the yeah. armor already. <laughs> of course, then you have Rang, which is... Uh, that's a permanent stun, so they can't really... Anti they can't constitution out of that. Nope. That's one of those, until you decide to relinquish the spell, they're under. They're deep under. Hey, do you guys think you could convert these guys? It's like, uh... We can kill the ones that don't. That's more of it. It's like, uh... That. It's like, that's the harsh truth with Traitor Legionary. But if you kill them, wouldn't they just respawn? It's like, likely. But that's a, uh, that's a risk we're willing to take. It's better to have a... It's better to have an honest force than a traitor. Shrug. Okay, you can turn it off. It's now. like, and he's like, uh, you handle, it's like, and he's like, uh, not just yet. Let's get back to a contained area where we can at least minimize the damage. That guy over there is also stunned. Okay, oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, so, like he said, take him back to an area first where they can contain him and they can get them interrogated. And if they decide not to join, then just shoot. Uh, we are forgetting one of them which has lost an arm. Yeah, he's out in the field, so is anybody going to bother with him? Didn't he bleed out at some point? Um, not so much. He survived. So, And likely you won't find him when you get there. Like He's going to be gone. You're going to come back and all you're going to see is like a pool of blood and where the blood trail would have gone. Yeah, oh, well, if, he, didn't if, see if he hadn't have bled out, then I would have assumed that Hot Flame would have, you know, cooked yeah, him. So... Not so much. I mean, Heart Flame, even Heart Flame has some sort of decency. It's like, it's a man with one arm. So, it just seems kind of cruel. Like, he's not the type of person to cruelly just kill somebody. Even though they tried to harm him, it's like, he's got no way to defend himself. Along with, you know, he's bleeding out. He's likely going to die from blood loss eventually. Unless they don't act like that. That's, uh... You have a lot of questions to ask these legionnaires about how things are changing. Well, now we will get some answers. Yeah, hopefully. So, this is probably your new strategy. Like, the easiest way is, you know, there, apparently there's dissent among the legion. There's a lot of dissent among the legion. Especially with their current policy, which is, we don't care if you live or die. You die, you'll just come back. That you're bound to the legion forever, which means you can't escape. There's no way out. So there's going to be some no, dissent drag, among them. We're dragging all the bodies with us. Okay, so... Sure, why not? I mean, this is, I mean there's a huge portal you open, you might as well. That's what you are doing, so... I was just going to drag one of the water machines with us, but... Let's get them all. <laughs> so, like, this is massive portal open, and you're dragging out into, uh... Let's see, where did he decide to deposit you? Town Square! Because, you know, where else would you deposit all this shit? So there's this massive portal open, and then all of a sudden, hey, guess what? Here's all this shit that is now in the uh, the town square. Surprise, motherfucker! Yeah, surprise, here's all this stuff. So now it's like, um... And Lineman was training, it's like, you call that a punch? Uh, no. 
So yeah, he was. Uh, uh, it's like uh, and scholars like you wouldn't believe what we just found. It's like uh, you're gonna have to explain it to me. <laughs> All right, so he's got the light, he's got the core. They don't know where they're gonna take all this stuff yet, so they're just kind of congregating. There's a the bunch of unconscious. Uh, they're hauling them off to a side building somewhere, and they're simply gonna lock them in a in a room. They're gonna post some sort of guard, which is likely just gonna be the other captains. While the main cat, like the the one holding the the crystal, is gonna pass it on to their main captain, which is the one issuing all the orders. So, now you have these three. Yeah, and then you have all the dudes. Like, you know, are you really gonna? Wounded. These ones are like wounded, and plus they've already yeah. apparently joined your side. They're yeah, not trying to. They are joining my. Mo- no, so. But so those ones, they're following the captain's orders, orders, which is we're not sure. Like we have to interrogate the other ones because they were under. Yep. We have all these suits to salvage. We have the war machines to analyze. So this might give us the edge, or it might just be another <laughs> bump in the road. For the Legion. I, I, I give this mage dude to the prison or whatever. Okay, doing. so you you move him over to the yeah. prison. So he's um he's not a fighter. He's never been like their mages aren't fighters. They're just anti mages. <laughs> so if you get in close, they're very apparently very vulnerable. They don't have a lot of spells. They don't have a lot of like they have mostly support magic. They don't have offensive magic. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over go. to the count and tell him. That we are Obviously, everyone's going to go over. Like he's uh, basically the the captain's going to go over there too and see. It's like the captain doesn't even know what's going on. He's just he's being led that way. Yeah, he's probably following me then. So, Adric, your armor's breached. You're going to have to get that repaired because it like just get a mark two. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I've, I've got an idea. <laughs> or steal a mark two. I don't know. Magic stick. Magic stick. Oh, that sounds bad. Okay, what's going to happen? Okay, well, this is likely going to go back up. It overloaded. Of course it did. Is this a positive, or this is a positive effect? Adric, are you active? Yeah. So, your suit is being hit with mending, which is going to repair your armor, but it's going to do some things to the armor. Upgrades, upgrades. <laughs> so, not it's not going to upgrade it. It's just going to... Yeah, it's not with my luck. So, like, you're feeling like it's becoming a part of you. Like, it's becoming lighter. So, that will enhance your speed further. Mm. So, the suit's becoming lighter. It's becoming more your taste. Like, you know, you're you're not about toughness. You're about stealth and dexterity. So, you bring up your gun. Like, you can bring up your gun arm almost on a whim. Like, you think it, and maybe half a second later, your gun arm's already ready to fire. So, like, the suit definitely, it moves a lot swifter than it did before. Alright, so, uh... So you get plus ten to your movement, along with, um... I'm working on the whole accuracy thing, it's just, um... (laughs) It's just, you can raise and lower your gun a lot faster, so... Let's see, does that modify your... That does modify that, so hold on, let me see what a reasonable number is. That's a... Oh, pff, very generous of them. So your basic... Your attack gets a plus five. That's because it's like, it's second nature, like you can just shake around your wrist gun like it's nothing. I just thought of something. I've, I've been very lucky with the D100s recently, so I'm going to try oh. out my rogue of useful items, hoping for some... Of healing or something. What are you doing? Robo use. Oh, you're gonna use. Uh, okay, so as you do that, it's like, hmm, my luck's working, and then it is. Holy shit! I actually got potions of healing. <laughs> That's <Nice>. so random. <laughs> okay, so just out of nowhere, she just pulls out potions. Like, well. And then drink two potions. Of Aren't those only like one d four or something? Yeah. Huh? Wait, hold on. Let me. uh... What is a uh, yeah? It's it's a D four potion. So wait, just drinking random potions. things and and Heartflame's looking at you. It's like uh okay. Huh? 
it's like, uh, Claire's like, does she always do that? And it's like, uh, Heart Flame's like, it's better not to ask these questions. Just, just go with it. Six health. So, oh, yeah. And it's like, well, um... It's like, I'm, I'm not too sure I want to keep adventuring now. That stuff was kind of dangerous. You'll get used to it eventually. It's like, or I could end up dead. Like you almost did. That wasn't he the wasn't first time. Die. That wasn't even it's as like, bad as the Shadow Dragon. It's like, yeah, but still... It's like, you're not really convincing her. She just, she feels like she her adventuring days are done. She's done with this adventuring business. I think she learned a lot from, and she's no longer as naive anymore. So it's like, uh, Heartflame basically jokes around, and it's like she, she puts, uh, she basically puts herself on her back, and it's like, okay, no, like, she puts... I don't it's hard to describe. If she leans on her back, it's like, oh come on. You know you want to stick around. And like, I guess that's convincing for some reason. Slash uncomfortable. She's warming up the so It's like right? it's like, alright, maybe a little longer then. But still, it's like you stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like fine. It's like, I was happy I would say anyway. Do I have to make you guys separate rooms? It's like, uh... It's like, I don't know, that kind of takes the fun out of it, doesn't it? And, like, uh, Claire's like, yes, please, do so. I just think for a moment, and the mansion changes. So, so Adric is like, uh, maybe we should not get involved in that. Who's gonna look after this bunny? Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. You could offer it to the town. You could look after it. Something. We need to get a stable. Yeah, that's one of the <laughs> things on the list. Oh my god! I I could get the enlarge spell and then ride it into battle. Sure. You should definitely do that. <laughs> so keep the rabbit around. 